together a, an application with Drupal and have them both work together very fast. So I was looking around for framework. Does framework make this application easy? They're all really, really slow. And then for another project, I did some benchmarking and I looked at some of the benchmarks out there and this did a bit of quick comparison. If you were to write a whole website and the web server and everything in machine code, that's a green line. If you write something pure PHP, it's the next line. If you use hip hop virtual machine, which is Facebook's compiler for PHP, that's the next line, 21% for performance. But it doesn't exactly work with PHP. We've got to change the code a little bit to work with it. And then there's Falcon, which is the framework I decided to use for my applications when mixing them with Drupal. And it's got, in terms of performance, I thought about converting this project to Drupal 8 and using Symphony, but Symphony's right down on the bottom performance. So I didn't want to convert my applications to Symphony. I might do it when Drupal 8 comes around, but not at the moment. So Falcon hit my interest, and just this. I was asked to compare to hip hop, so I just mentioned hip hop. It's a compiler, it takes your PHP code, compiles it to an intermediate code, and then the intermediate code is compiled just in time. So, in theory, hip hop would run anything. You could run Drupal 7 unmodified, you could run any, code, any PHP code, but it's only compatible with PHP. 5.3, I'm using 5.4, and it's not quite 100% compatible, so it's trailing PHP. So if you're using leading edge PHP, you can forget about this. That's a whole web demo website. The Belkin, of all the, all the fast frameworks that I looked at, Belkin's probably. Uh, Half of these don't install properly. You've got to do something stupid to install it. And half of them have got rubbishy documentation. That if, if one of my students turned in documentation like that, I'm sure of course. So if you divide that list by half, because only half really work reliably, and then you divide it by half because half have got good doc documentation, there's not a lot of choice out there. Yes, get another framework. and. Falcon are two that work the same. They're, they're frameworks that are compiled as modules to plug into PHP. So the part, the code that's provided by the framework is running as machine code. And then the rest of it is your own PHP. The gap is horrible in the solve and Yeah, yeah. Just a question there. So what, what, what are these actually testing? Is it, is it like a request comes in, gets routed through the class that returns something? Yeah. Can you just give us some idea of what they're actually testing? All, all of these are MVC without the, the... They're all requests with no database access and no templating of the output. So they're you're an AJAX request or a JSON type request. So it's just testing the speed of the PHP code and not the database and not Smarty or Twig or anything like that. Now, This is Drew Falcon. This is Drupal 7 running under Falcon so that when it loads my application, my application can use Falcon. And that's sort of what I'm going to sh show you how I did it. And this is just a very simple little setup. I've got uh, Drupal outside of the web group. The whole, the whole of Drupal 7.26 or whatever outside the web root. Inside the web root, I just put in the CSS files, the JavaScript files, a few simple little things. And then, 
did a standard Apache configuration, and the the bit at the bottom is almost exactly the same for Falcon and Drupal. The only difference is they have underscore URL instead of Q. That, that was the only difference there for my index. Index file, Drupal starts off with an index file. I put it after Falcon, so Falcon will load first. This first part is straight out of a Falcon tutorial. It's how they load their, um, their controls, models, views, and they set the face of the website. And then I go into a little bit, which is to make the two compatible. So this little bit here, I decided to put all the Drupal classes in directory Drupal class and set up a little Falcon loader. So I, I could put all my classes separate there. And then I go down, there's a little bit of compatibility here just to allow for some files which are being loaded native instead of through Drupal or Falcon. And this last little bit, that's a few of Drupal. The only thing I've changed is the way that the root gets defined. Because of, and that's not nothing to do with Falcon, that's because I've got code outside of WebRoot. Uh, we go through Falcon, we set up the auto loader for Falcon, and then we uh, we run normal Drupal, and I can then put classes and code in through either Drupal or through Falcon. And as an experiment, to see if I can make Drupal 7 run faster. I went into the bootstrap code, and the bootstrap code is full of classes. I don't know how many there are, but this class is all the way down to the bootstrap code, and some of them are used all the time, but not all of them are used all the time. And I simply, for a demonstration, I extracted one class out into a separate file, and that's automatically loaded by Falcon. So that, that class is no longer in Bootstrap Inc. It's a separate class file. That's just automatically loaded. So in theory, I could go through Drupal 7 and make it faster. That was not what I was setting out to do. My, what I was setting out to do was have my classes for my application loaded there so that when I get to a page that's going to use my application, it would auto load through Falcon. And doing this was just a, hmm, I can make group of that. So it, that might be a separate project. Uh, the, Falcon is, all the frameworks I showed before, they're all MVC. Some of them have got a light version for web services, so you've just got model controller, no view, no templating. Falcon's got a micro version which just loads the model and the controller and, and not the uh, templating system. And that's a little bit faster. And that's probably what I'll, I'll switch this to doing. And then what I can do is have my applications run from a page request with page in Drupal. And then page in Drupal can be the documentation of what we're going to do. And I can have in the back, uh, it can kick off my application, which might change some data, create some new data, and then link to a page which might be a views listing of the results. And then I can have the two applications running together, but independently without rewriting my code to drip. And that was that was the point of using framework. <coughs> Falcon's just blindingly fast. Every time I use Falcon for something, it's just straight away compared to all the all the other frameworks I've used are either difficult to use. All there. You can see it on this machine, you can see it going tick, 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 tick when you're loading a page. Uh, 
Anybody needs framework to mix in with dribble? Recommend Falcon. And question. Some of my applications that I'm looking at are using this approach. Uh, just they're using a, they're using frameworks that I've created, and then I can't be bothered maintaining it because this is this is going to take out between 50 and 90 percent of my code on different projects. And it's it's PSR compatible, so it's compatible with Drupal 8 and the auto loader. And when we go to Drupal 8, it means I won't have to rewrite. 50 to 90% of my code will be good like compatible. It's going to be done. PSR zero compatible. Uh, and I think the next version is going to be PSR plus compatible. Yeah. So, um, uh, Falcon just really provide a bunch of free compile built in libraries and utility functions and things that that get that they can't get the original set of the files. I don't know if the total list is up yet. There, there is a, in the full version, there's a database, there's formatting, uh, templating, and it all fits in about 2 megabytes, 2.2 megabytes or something like that. And when I put PHP code like Slim, that's an alternative, which is a small framework, but it gets about five times as big as Falcon in terms of memory usage. For starting up. And when you're looking at someone accessing a big web, web page, you might see the difference because most of it's going to be database and downloading files. But when you're doing something like web services, in Drupal 8, in the background, every little block and every little everything is going to be a web service. So you load the page and there might be 50 web service requests in the background. If 20 of them are your application over there, you don't want 20 of them having a 1.5 second overhead when they can have a 0 0.05 second overhead. That's what we did. really impressive. I'm just trying to get my head around. So, question one In Drupal 8, are you saying that all classes that you run at Drupal can be compiled and all classes that you can possibly set Drupal 8 up in a Drupal 8 is used exceptionally, exceptionally as PSR 0 compatible. So the autoloader should work the same. Yeah. But the autoloader in exceptionally is this monster that does everything here. Yeah. And I don't need that for my application. And in Falcon, it starts off small and you just add what you need. So it's a much simpler flow and overhead. So even if Falcon was pure PHP, it would be faster and simpler. It would be something like Micro MVC or Slim or one of those very fast frameworks. It's been compiled, so it's five times faster than them. And if I'm loading an application alongside a group, I don't need all this. I'm not, I'm not going to do page requests, so I'm going to do things like web services. So I don't need a quick, I don't need security because it'll be a web service or one thing to take block in. So question number two, is it just the glasses that get compiled or the sort of the other the other code that gets screwed on the page? Well I'm I am i am only looking at it for the glasses. It's 
code, it's got a norm. All versions got a norm. I don't think there's a norm in the micro version, so I'm going to then switch to the micro version. The full version's got a U, U, the full MDC. I'm not using the view because my data that I'm working on in the background will eventually be displayed through a Drupal page, so I don't need to have fancy formatting. So I'll probably use the micro version. And the Drupal page will do a request, the request in the background oh, I see. will prepare some data and then maybe bring back JSON or something like that. <coughs> and that's the whole of Drupal 8. Every, in Drupal 8, every block will be a JSON request. So, and the whole page will be blocks. So there'll be lots of JSON requests. And that was one of the reasons they switched to Symfony, is to get very fast JSON processing. Well, this is fast. So for my applications, I'll probably just use this. And then that mean, means for the 20, 20 requests behind a page request, most of them will be running far faster than Symfony ever runs. What sort of application do you have uh, to, to connect with that? Well, the application I first started looking at is it, a management application manage a service, and when you pick off certain processes, it can take 20 hours running a Drupal. Running a Drupal 7, using Drupal 7 as a framework, it take 25 hours or something for one of these processes to run. And I started shrinking it down to PHP, so it could run within an hour of your reasonable time. Well, I only got down to about four hours using Drupal, the whole thing. And something like this, I think I might get down for now. And that means the manager can come in the morning and, and hit the button and then make a cup of coffee and come back and see the result. And the, the, the result might be formatted in the Drupal page. So Drupal will do the Drupal 8 will do the quick formatting of the results, but in the background will be a process that um, doesn't have the Drupal overheads. And I don't have to have two servers because all the data is going to be linked. So I want it in one database. Separate tables, but in one database. So there's no overheads of having two databases. And that means I can go off and read the Drupal tables if I want to get some related information. Any questions, guys?